Hello everyone, this is your dad of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's off to zero. Bitcoin's a scam. Bitcoin's about to die. The biggest bubble in history. It's off to zero. The bubble's popping. The bubble's popping. Bitcoin's officially been declared dead 382 times. Okay, calm down, calm down. Let's step back and see where we actually are in this Bitcoin cycle today. Historically, Bitcoin makes new all-time highs every four years. As you can see from this chart, in 2013, Bitcoin made new all-time highs. 2017, it did the same again. 2021, we're seeing the exact same thing. Why does this happen? Is it all just luck or something? No. See, what also happens every four years is the amount of Bitcoin available to mine halves. In 2016, the amount of new Bitcoin created every 10 minutes got cut down to 25 from 50. And what do we see the year after in 2017? The Bitcoin price goes to a new all-time high. As demand for the product is rapidly increasing and the supply is depleting, you see the surplus of price and it shoots up. Like gold, Bitcoin is a scarce resource. In fact, we're seeing multi-billionaires such as Michael Saylor and Raoul Powell announce that Bitcoin is better than gold itself. And here's why. Approximately, the gold supply is increased by 2% from mining it each year. The stock-to-flow model for Bitcoin made by Plan B on Twitter represents the increase in scarcity for Bitcoin very well. Let me hop on a Zoom call with Raoul Powell to explain this to you guys. Hey Raoul, what's the stock's flow model? Rare assets have a stock to flow, which means their valuation is based on how much new supply can come on versus the total supply. Now, Bitcoin, if you think about it, it's 21 million Bitcoins. So by the time you're at 18 million Bitcoins, you've only got 3 million left to come and they come up at a certain rate. So that's the stock, the stock that's also above ground now or that has been mined. And then the flow is what comes on top. So it's a, it's a decreasing amount versus the total amount. And that makes it rare. And that's the same attribute that gold has. And it actually is the same attribute silver has, diamonds have, and certain other assets. So his idea was to prove it mathematically. So he looked at it and said, okay, if I put, uh, I put it in statistical analysis, I can look to prove that this is the case. And that's what he did in his work. He proved that it basically follows this linear path of price appreciation based around its rarity. Now, it assumes there's, a, there's an amount of demand for it, because you can have a rare asset with no demand, in which case it doesn't work. But if you've got a relatively st steady demand for something or an increasing demand, what you get is um, a price that moves in a linear fashion according to its stock to flow cheers raul i hope that helps you realize we're very early in this bitcoin cycle we're just 50 days in and the previous two cycles were 291 days and 297 days so you know there's a lot more to go if we're just 50 days in you can see all three cycles here put together the red one is our current cycle if we carry on at our current trajectory we will see 100k bitcoin by april or september we typically see Bitcoin peak around 14 to 18 months after it's halving. So back to that graph I showed you at the start of the video, you can see that a bit of sideways movement for Bitcoin is nothing in the large scheme of things. So thanks for watching, drop a like if you think this video was good, and let's finish with this funny clip if someone says Bitcoin's going to zero. Watch this. Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. Take a slide, 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 take a slide